Good morning, folks. Today we're going to be hitting a distant blazar in space, piling on the pre-earthquake signal science, and then we'll see two key studies on space weather impact to transportation systems and spacecraft. But of course, we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star and we find a mildly increasing activity trend for the day. Solar flaring is back to consistent production, staying in low M-class range. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet, and the plasma filaments have not erupted at Earth. When it comes to the flaring, you can see here in 94 angstroms that it is confined to the departing and incoming sunspot groups. They're expected to continue flaring, especially if there is any development in the incoming active region. Smaller compact groups departing, but over on the left, incoming, that is a lot of umbral activity, and any further development there could mean larger flares. So we're off to deep space, a blazar, a galactic central core engine blasting out a polar jet. They now say they have discovered the earliest and most distant blazar ever seen. This one is as far away as they can see and must have already fully formed by just 800 million years after their theorized start of the cosmos. Up next, another great shovel piling onto the mountain of pre-earthquake signal science. We're hitting tech here, total electron content again, and once again, we're breaking down the details of how the planet electromagnetically reacts before a big quake. Good study up next on space weather impact to transportation systems, whether it is the overall navigational issues due to GPS errors, or individual signal errors in high-speed rail or traffic lights, or the failure of large-scale systems like flight tracking and air traffic management. There have been many, many reported issues with transportation infrastructure during solar storms. And of course, the spacecraft are not immune to those same problems. Even while many are built for space environments, the energy delivered in solar storms and from the constant flow of cosmic rays ends up causing a variety of trouble for spacecraft operators and for the machine operation. From data errors to catastrophic failures, all are on the table in solar storms. Folks, if you missed this last night, it's a great video, and we're starting to crank out these special afternoon presentations once again. They're getting good, and you don't want to miss them. And don't forget, the next two Disaster Cycle mini-conferences are set at Observer Ranch. More announcements coming at the end of the month. Come see us observerranch.com and a quick shout out to end for our documentary sponsor here gold co they are observers and they made a site specifically for observers goldobservers.com every serious prepper i know has some gold or silver just in case you should too we greatly appreciate your support we'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 30 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear. Be safe, everyone.